All right, now that we've got our drivers loaded, the next thing that we need to do is we need to now get our firmware set for this board, okay, for our drone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our beta flight here and scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says CLI, and I want you to click on that, all right? And then I want you to go and I want you to type in the word version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N, and hit enter. And you're gonna see right here where it says the version of the software and the year that the software is developed and so forth. So what I want you to do is I want you to highlight that, right click on it, left click on copy, and then I've already done this in Notepad. Open Notepad up, so like uh, click your start button, click run, type Notepad and click OK. When it opens, I want you to paste this in here, okay? Now if you, want, if you don't wanna use Notepad and you wanna use a pen and paper or something, that's fine. I'm just gonna use this screen because there's gonna be a few things we're gonna do along the way that are gonna be easier if you do it this way. So just open Notepad or make a, but the most important thing right now is that you wanna focus on this. Omnibus F4, this is the main thing, this is the most important, okay? Now, there's a couple things I wanna say before that. So. Before we continue, um, the board that you're working on right now, there is, it is, this is the new beta flight. And if by the time this video, if you're watching this video, this issue may have been fixed by then, I don't know, but here's what's gonna happen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to disconnect, okay? And we go to disconnect, that gets us out of our uh, beta flight uh, setup, right? So we're now back at the main screen. And remember the disconnect is on the top right. You, my picture's over your button probably, but just on the top right there. All right, what we wanna do now is we wanna click update firmware. Okay, now there's two things that are gonna happen here that could happen. The first one is when I click to update this firmware, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure your page looks like mine right here, okay? So I want you to, I want you to drop down your menu until you find Omnibus F4. You see why we keep notes on it, because look how many Omnibus options. There's F4V6, F4SD, F4 Nano 7, uh, F4FW, and F4. We want just F4, okay? We want this to be off under show unstable releases, off under no reboot sequence, off under manual baud rate, all right? Then we want to come over here and we want to click load firmware online, okay? What's going to happen next is this flash firmware button is going to light up. Now, here is the thing you need to be patient or pay attention to. The first one is this. When I click flash firmware, if you look at the top here where it says the COM port or what have you, yours may say something different, I don't know, but basically right here, this needs to switch over to DFU. When I click flash firmware, the letters DFU need to pop up here and you'll see it. If yours doesn't do that, then you need to go to our, go back, scroll up the page on the videos, get out of this video, scroll up, and you'll see this troubleshooting link on the DFU. So you need to click that and watch that video first, and that will tell you how to get your, uh, how to load the software properly so your uh, flight controller goes into DFU mode, okay? And we're using almost the identical uh, build when I did that video, but that reference is very good and it tells you what you need to download. So if we click flash firmware up here, and your port does not switch to DFU, STM32 bootloader, you need to stop, stop this video, scroll up all through the videos. I think this is video uh, 11 maybe, uh, step 11, go all the way to the top. And you'll see a little link that says troubleshooting. And that link, click it, and you'll be taken to a DFU. One of the things on there is, my board doesn't go into DFU mode, what do I do? Click that, and there's a very short video there on how to fix that. Then come back and continue this video. Okay, now, now that that's said, here's the other problem that you may run into. Exactly what you're seeing on my screen right now. I told it to update to flash, and it's gone into DFU mode, but because there's a glitch between the firmware that's on here from the factory and the new firmware with the new version of Betaflight that just came out, it's not loading, okay? It's just paused here. And no matter what you do, it's gonna pause unless you follow this instruction. So if your computer is stuck at this screen where it says DFU, and it just says at the bottom here, initiating reboot loader and nothing's happening, here's what I want you to do. First thing I want you to do is I want you to close beta flight, okay? Oh, and, and just to make note, um, I'm going to, I'm going to pull this, this, I've got the flight control actually sitting out. What you're going to see on here is I have a solid red light, right? So you see that right there? So if you were to look at your drone right now, this flight controller should be a solid red light. Okay. That's just verifies that basically it's in DFU mode, but it's not functioning. So here's what you're going to do. I want you to close beta flight. Then I want you to go back and reopen it again. Seems weird, but just do it. Trust me. I want you to go back and you're going to see it still says DFU mode because you haven't unplugged your flight controller and it's in a solid red light, so it's in DFU mode. So I want you to go back and click Update Firmware again. And this time, I want you to, we're gonna wait, it's gonna populate, see where it says loading? Just wait a minute, all right, there it goes, okay? So now, it says the it's got everything that we wanted, 
we're gonna go ahead and turn this on right here. No reboot sequence, okay? Then I want you to go ahead and click load firmware online again. And now I want you to click flash firmware. And now it goes. For some reason, this board and the old firmware, it just kind of locks right where it is. So you have to do this extra step, okay? And it took me quite a while to figure that out. So I'm trying to save you guys some time. But that's the issue with it. And um, so anyways, once this is done, it's now it's flashing. As you can see, it's flashing with the new firmware. Then we're gonna log back in and start setting this up. One thing to keep in mind is, is that that um, option that we did up here, no reboot sequence, it's only a one-time thing. You won't have to use it again. So you'll turn it off when you're done. If you ever flash this board again, you will not turn that on, okay? It's just strictly for this one firmware that was loaded from the factory. Now that it's got the new firmware on here, it'll flash every time without any problems, okay? Or it should. So we're just gonna give it a second to load. Um, the flashing light goes slow and then it verifies real quickly. So here we go, okay? So you see here it says programming successful. Everything's green and now look, you're no longer under, um, you're no longer under uh, DFU, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click connect and you're gonna see some messages pop up, so pay attention. Connect and it's gonna say, do you wanna apply custom defaults? You're gonna click yes, yeah, click apply custom defaults. Okay, then you're gonna, it's gonna do this again, and now you're gonna connect and you may see another message right here, warning. Problem with your configuration, there's no motor output, which we'll fix, uh, and uh, blah, 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 okay, the ESC, the accelerometer is enabled but not calibrated, we're gonna fix that too, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this now, all right, and you stay connected. I'm gonna disconnect because I was using that one board to um, show you. Now I'm gonna connect my drone and I'm gonna make sure, again, make sure it's turned away from me. Now I'm gonna connect my drone, um, and now I can catch up with you guys. So here it goes, let me click connect. Okay, I'm gonna apply custom defaults. I was using that one board standalone so I could show you guys what it looks like with the light. Okay, so here it is, the errors, go ahead and click close. All right, now, the second error about the calibration, the accelerometer, that's this right here, okay? What I want you to do is, uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to, um, click reset Z axis, okay? And then I want you to click calibrate accelerometer. Now, the reset Z axis means, and let me put the drone up on the screen now, okay? So watch this. All right, here's a drone, right? So you see how if I turn this, like I'm just turning it left and right. It's staying flat, but I'm just turning it, right? So it's basically, it's north heading, and then I'm just moving that all over. Okay, so that's what this does. I click reset Z axis and it puts it straight again. Now if I go straight, you're gonna see it move. So basically you're telling it, when you click reset Z axis, this drone is perfectly straight, sitting in front of me, and the red propellers here, I'm gonna tilt this up. As you can see, there's an arrow here. This is the front of the drone the back of the drone, and it indicates this by using green propellers to indicate the front and red for the back, okay? So what you're telling it, and this is why I said before, always keep your drone sitting in front of you, facing away from you where the back is towards you because the program works this way. So you reset Z axis, and now you click calibrate the accelerometer, and this is the cool part. So that is basically what tells this thing uh, if you're level or not, right? So watch what happens. If I tilt this up and I click calibrate, it's gonna level it and it's gonna say, okay, that calibrate is telling it it's flat on a flat surface. That's why it's there. So now when I let it go, it's gonna be angled. So you wanna calibrate it when it's sitting on a flat surface, okay? That takes care of the first error right there. And that's how we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna stop the video here and come back. And now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down ports, configuration, and a few other things along the way. But let's stop here so you guys make sure you're caught up with everything that we need to be, okay? I'll be right back.